passengers might call them flight mares. Tarmac delays that keep them trapped for hours and hours without food, water, or functioning restrooms. And they're a prime target of a so-called Air Passenger Bill of Rights that has yet to take off in Congress, but remains a big priority for consumer groups. We're talking about creating a movement of passengers. That's what this is all about. This is protecting the average person who flies. Some of those groups were on hand on Capitol Hill Tuesday for the reintroduction of a bill that would give passengers the option to deplane after three hours on the tarmac, require access to food, water, and adequate restroom facilities during delays, and apply those rules to international flights departing from and arriving to the U.S. Department of Transportation regulations put in effect last April impose stiff fines on domestic carriers for delays that stretch past three hours. The bill's chief backer in Congress, California Democrat Mike Thompson, wants to see those rules become federal law. That's why it's important to codify uh, what they did, uh, plus uh, expand it to make sure that uh, all the protections are there that, uh, that we're fighting for. But the Air Transport Association, an industry trade group, says airlines experienced the lowest number of long delays ever last year, a result they say shows a federal law is not needed. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.